Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's a very quick update on um, on my project with the uh, Royal Pianos, and um, I finished the second one, and I stamped it. Uh, Life is good. I also teared uh, a little paper out of the paper sheet. So that's that paper what I picked up on Tuesday morning. Um, that that paper is a script and all. I got a little bit of uh, notes going from over here. And the top part is Anna Griffin's paper. Just a paper, um, not um, in a 12 by 12, but 6 by 6, the same one. I think it came out pretty good. And especially I like the... A uh, little lid thing, and you could write here uh, or stamped in here the you saying whatever you wanted to say. And I went ahead and I fortified the stick with the with the paper, trying to make it uh, an impression of uh, like a wood with um, uh, gold paint on it. And I really love how it turns out on the inside. So when you open it up, it's kind of shimmerish and nice, and it has this wood-looking finish, which is paper, of course, but it does look like a wood. And I placed the uh, glossy accents on the uh, on the uh, keys on the keyboard uh, that it would look realistic, and I loved it. Uh, so and I also decorated uh, with like a little wood impression paper the the feet of the uh, instrument so I thought that I would put a bunch of uh, flowers on here you know how the people get in a bouquet from the um, when they play in something and you know but then I thought it would be a little too much but I might still do that I'm planning to make a white one and a black one and um, let me know if you want me to make you some with this Eclipse amazing machine. I thought it would be a nice decoration just to place it as a background somewhere on the view. And this one was my first one. It says in memory everything seems to happen to music. It's a little more steady because the cardstock is better. It's like a heavier cardstock. And um, it's, I would say it's a little better quality, but this one is just as a souvenir, as a better, better look. I mean, they both look really great, and they have glossy accents on both of them. I didn't make this border with the glitter how I did in here uh, around the perimeter of the instrument. Because I thought, you know, maybe it's not going to look that great. But it turned out to be really awesome. And it takes me about half a day, like here and there. Not constant effort, of course, but just uh, here and there. And also I made that um, embellishment for the mixed media art uh, with the glossy accents too here. Um, so in another day I was showing how I was stamping them. And then I stamped, um, and they dried out, and how it, that how it turns out after the uh, Glossian's accents on them. Some of them you cannot even read even at all, but um, some of them are pretty good. This one could be just for mixed media, some something. And this little tiny planner I got out of the planner's um, recollection planner. So I was thinking to place it on the music sheet, but then, you know, I can use it on the mixed media somewhere. I think it turns out pretty good. Everything works out amazing. And I'm really happy with that. I got into mixed media. I can show to you the book. So that's my mixed media art. A little booklet. I started to learn it and I already did a couple of things but it seems like that one 
would be even better because I have gelatos now and everything and uh, I got the felt paper and the foam goes with that so let's see how it will turn out I really love it and here's project ideas and materials you're gonna need for it so stay tuned for my next project thanks a lot for watching have a great day bye